High fire signs Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see um, what are your person's current, what are their current thoughts about you and about the situation and about the connection you share. This is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email will be listed below the video. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, the world card in reverse. Um, this person feels like you and them are unfinished business, okay? This is someone who feels like they're not done yet. Um, if you have gone through a separation, if you're currently disconnected with this person, if there's a bit of a discord in your energies, if you're not really on talking terms or if things aren't, you know, aren't the same, it just feels like... Or if this is someone who's ghosted you or pulled away or is growing distant from you, you know, the world card in reverse tells us, it, you know, it's not ended, okay? They still have unfinished business with you. You guys are, you know, there's still a part two saga to this thing. If they have ghosted you, understand that the reason why they've left, you know, you or they've left the situation abruptly is because the thing is, the psychology behind people ghosting others is that, you know, they don't slam the door shut on the relationship. They leave the door slightly ajar should they ever revisit the relationship. Smart, right? I mean, they should, could have had the decency to communicate this to you, but, you know, it's their way. It's pretty tactical. It's pretty strategic. And it's their way of, you know, leaving the door ajar for themselves and for, you know, this connection should they ever wish to come back to it. So this person knew what they were doing. So they ended things with you, but not really ended things with you, if that makes sense. So yeah, this person feels like there's unfinished business. If this is someone whom can, you've connected with online, um, I feel like there's still more to this connection. You potentially might see this person meet this person in life, in real life. If you've been doing long distance with this person, you might potentially be traveling or they may be traveling to see you. You've got the devil card, okay? So someone very drawn, someone very attracted to this per to you. And this person is very drawn to your energy, and you find them highly attractive. You you know, there's a lot of intensity um, that comes with the energy of the devil. Now, the devil is well, he is someone who he doesn't do love. He does lust. So I can see that there is a lot of infatuation and there's a lot of attraction. But bear in mind that can eventuate. Lust can eventuate into love. You know, even if it's a casual type of a situation arrangement, it can eventuate into a relationship. Okay. The thing with the devil is this person does have some very addictive qualities to them, and there is something very addictive to this relationship. Now, the devil represents an ex as well. Okay, so. Remember how I said there's unfinished business that coincides because, you know, if this is someone who's left you, if this is someone who's ghosted you, this is an ex coming back into your life because they, you know, they still have unresolved feelings for you. They still have unresolved uh, business with you. So, you know, an ex here is coming back into your reading. Someone who obviously is very attracted to you and they can't help that attraction. Someone who's obviously very drawn to you and someone who has sparked a little something with you and clearly wants to reignite that spark okay so this person definitely has you on their mind lately and is thinking about making a comeback or has you know as you're watching this reading for some of you depending where you're at they have returned okay um they do care about you queen of pentacles and the more time that you give this relationship the more those emotions are going to grow and flourish um but this is someone who is i feel like you know they may come across a certain way, but they do have a very caring, sweet, gentle nature to them. They do. Okay, and they see you as someone who... They see you as someone, for some reason, I'm, you know, I don't know if you guys spoke about this or not, but they see you as someone who would make a good parent. Um, a good parent, a caring mother, um, a loving father. Okay, you've got the world card, um, the two of wands, sorry. And you've got the image of the world that he's... Um, he's holding the world in his hands basically I do feel like as I've mentioned you know I do feel like your your paths are going to cross again they may have separated for some of you now but they may realign now you guys may have there may not be a physical separation but there may be some sort of emotional distance right now 
um, you guys will come back together okay so your energies are going to sync back up you're going to um, you know there's a reciprocation I'm seeing there's realignment I'm seeing you guys are going to be reattracting each other's energy I'm also seeing that this person right now is doing a lot of planning they're thinking about things um, if this started off some if this started off as something casual okay the devil's energy then and even if, if this person is a bit of player and if they never intended to fall in love with you i feel like it's happening or they see themselves that hey it could very easily happen so i see that there's a lot of planning and i see that you are a part of this person's future planning they are you know they are including you in their plans if this person is if you're doing long distance with this individual i see them thinking about like making plans to travel to see you okay we've got a few cards so high priestess energy um you know they do have i don't know if it's you or i don't know if it's them it's this you know this mysteri mysterious allure this mysterious appeal this person doesn't feel like they have you all figured out and i think in in some way it's you know that's what they find very attractive about you right because they maybe you guys are still getting to know each other maybe that's where this is all coming from um, but this person feels like you know every time that they're with you they learn new things about you you could possibly feel this um, way about this person as well um, for those of you that do have some sort of tattoo of a moon in particular a crescent moon a waxing wanning moon this person loves the tattoo they love your tattoo well, i don't know if this person has a tattoo but i'm seeing like a I feel like that's something that they love and they feel like it really represents you and your energy um they also love that you're coming across as someone very feminine okay so if it is you know if you are a female they find you um, they find your feminine features very attractive or like your feminine energy if you're a male you might just be you know um if you're a masculine energy you might just have you might be in touch with your feminine side so they love that about you um the ten of wands you know this is i feel like it is a little bit one-sided okay um and maybe that's what brought out brought on this disconnection and this separation or you know it, it's shifting okay if it started off as something casual it's about to become serious if you started off if it started off as you putting in all the work they're about to step up so to me the ten of wands in reverse is um it's a good thing because i'm also seeing that this is someone who wants to start sharing more of themselves so you know them coming back is not only them appearing back in your life on the scene but it's them proving that hey you know they want to work they want to work at this they want to work through some things they want to apologize they want to build on a connection like they're clearly coming back for something it's not for nothing right let there be light so okay ten of wands in reverse is this person um opening themselves up to you okay so especially if there was someone who was a little bit closed off a little bit emotionally reserved or guarded i see this person slowly bringing down their guard slowly you know lowering their guard um showing you a side that you haven't seen to them showing you know showing their true colors or showing more and more of who they are okay nine of cups um this is good because this is you know you you're reattracting each other i feel like not only are you reattracting um his or her energy or they're reattracting you into their life i also feel like things are working out for you okay this is you coming into alignment with one another this is the law of attraction tarot card out of the deck so you know if you're wishing for a reconciliation or a return the universe is certainly you know wanting to grant your wish wanting to grant um, wanting to make a dream come true so they're in a powerful manifesting mode you know focus your energy on wherever you want it to go this is also someone who i feel like is realizing that you're someone that they've you know you're someone that they want or you're typically the type of person that they you know like to go for you have a lot of things about you a lot of qualities and um, a lot of things about you that they are definitely attracted and drawn to and they admire okay that's a little bit too much but let's begin okay so nine of swords this is someone who's well they're a little stressed out okay if this person has ghosted you if they've disappeared if they ended the relationship this is someone who regrets it this is an energy of guilt as well so they know that they should have done better they know that they should have hurt you they know that they should have put more of um 
they should have made more of an effort so if they've hurt you they're hurting that they've hurt you too um, they're also writing and rewriting their messages to you I feel like this person is really scared about reaching out or they're really nervous about communicating with you because they've made things a little awkward or they're left really awkwardly and now this person doesn't know are you going to be okay with them reaching out to you are they are you going to reject them you know um, so this is someone who is a little bit I feel like they're regretful they're remorseful um, they're uh, staying up at nights. I'm also seeing that this person either suffers from headaches or someone who's an insomniac. They don't do like they might just be a night owl. They might stay awake at nights. Um, it could also be that you know they struggle at nights because they're lonesome. They're without you, and this is when they tend to think about you the most. Okay, um, the full card. You know, if this is an individual who comes back, the fool's energy. It's so important that they hold themselves accountable for their actions. Um, and it's important that you hold them accountable for their actions as well. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it is, to me, this is a soulmate connection. To me, this is someone, you know, this is fate, this is destiny. So you can't stop what's destined for you. You can't stop what's fated for you. And this is indeed a fated connection. Um, you know, and I see that the reconciliation or the reconnection is indeed fated as well. Um, you will, so your paths have gone separate ways but you will cross paths again. Your paths will realign with each other. The Eight of Pentacles, I really see that this person wants to make it work this time around. I really see that this person has been trying to work on themselves. They've been trying to work on the situation. Um, and, you know, Two of Pentacles, I mean, the other thing that I get is there are two sides to every coin, two sides to every pentacle. So maybe, you know, it wasn't all their fault that the relationship ended. Maybe you've played a part, no matter how small or how big. Maybe you did play some sort of part in the breakup or the disconnection. So maybe, you know, you, know, you also need to do some inner reflection um, and figure out, you know, figure out some things about yourself or about what you want from out of the relationship. But they are coming back with this energy of wanting to fix things, wanting to work through things, wanting to make this work. Um, you know, they stuffed up the first, the first time. I don't see them wanting to, you know, that... I don't see them making the same mistake, mistake twice. I don't. Um, so it's just them, and they've been working on themselves. If this if this person suffers from any addiction, alcohol, drugs, or anything like that, I feel like this is something that they're trying to be. They try. They're trying to work through it. Okay, so this is an addiction they're trying to kick, or something that they're trying to work through and resolve. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.